Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. We're hopping to the next episode of Community. This is season number four, episode number six, titled Advanced Documentary Filmmaking. If you've been enjoying this ride with me on this road through Greendale Community College, and you guys want to just spend a little bit more time with me and avoid the YouTube highlights, Patreon's the place to do it. Early access, uncut videos, all that good stuff, multiple tiers to choose from. I think I have a little bit of everything for everybody. So if you're interested, go ahead and take a look. If not, totally cool. You can always support me right here on YouTube. All you gotta do is drop a like, comment down below if you want to see me react to next, subscribe if you haven't already. It's free, and of course, share with your friends. Helps you, helps me, helps the channel grow. Everybody wins in the end. So last time on Community was Thanksgiving. And I believe the way I had this scheduled out on YouTube was, um, I think I had that episode actually released on Thanksgiving. So if I did, yay me. If I did not, mm, this is awkward, awkward intro. But th that, so happy Thanksgiving in advance. But if you're watching this on Patreon, this is early. So you'll probably be like, what the hell? Anyways, um, this episode's about filmmaking, the documentary filmmaking, I should say. And I've liked the episodes regarding that before, and I already saw in the thumbnail that we're going to be dealing with Chang and his Changnesia. Not necessarily a fan of that, but we're going to see what it's about. Maybe we're about to dive into it. Maybe we're going to unlock something about his inner psyche. Like, what's, what's his deal? We're already like six episodes into season four. I believe this season's only like 12 or 13 episodes, something like that. So we're like already like halfway through the season, which is kind of crazy to think about. But we're halfway through the season. We're about to tackle Chang. And his and, and some sort of documentary style. Maybe we're gonna like follow him around and maybe figure out what his deal is, and uh, figure out how to fix him. I guess I don't know. But outside of that, let's just have a good time and hop into this episode and talk about it immediately afterwards. But yeah, remember guys, like, comment, share, and subscribe. All that good stuff. Let's hop in, have a good time, and uh, let's do it. All right, guys, here we go. My name is Kevin. Or so they tell me. I can't remember anything before six months ago. Changnesia is a fascinating and extremely rare disease on the forefront of the psychological landscape. I'm developing a theory hey. which some find contrary. Love the glasses. Only is she wearing those glasses to kind of be like him? The original cause. <laughs> I told you it was controversial. Assisting in Kevin's recovery has put a financial strain on the school. That's why we are appealing to the MacGuffin Neurological Institute. <laughs> MacGuffin? We can continue to fight this terrible disease and hopefully one day pay for this documentary. How was that, Abed? That's too baggy. The Dean wants a propaganda film, but I intend to explore all sides of this serious issue. Hey, Jeff. What are you doing? Making a documentary on Changnesia. You gotta be kidding me. <laughs> Jeff, back to one. Jeff. Guys, did you hear? The history of ice cream class had another heart attack. Three more and we're all in. What's the MacGuffin Institute? The MacGuffin Institute is coming to Greendale on Friday because they might give the school money to study Changnesia. You're seriously helping this lunatic? Got nothing better to do. How would you know? Have you ever even spent time with him, Jeff? I was reluctant to accept Kevin at first, too, but it's just so sweet. I'm gonna go get a sandwich, which, unlike Changnesia, is real. It's stupid. What's stupid? The whole thing. Okay, put it together for me. The whole thing is stupid. Yeah, we're about to cut all to that it? into some sort of message at the end, I'm sure. Shirley. Hey, it doesn't have the SS this. on her thing the same person left. <laughs> Welcome to Shirley's Sandwiches, where the food is Why are friendly. you here? You hired Chang? Hmm? I'm Kevin. And you are? Not calling you Kevin. I'm not calling you Kevin. Imagine if he's, like, playing them, and we uncover this is a long con. He tried to kill us. Why does everyone keep forgetting about that? But he didn't. And you used to be a sleazy lawyer. What if Greendale never gave you a second chance? Oh, damn. I mean, all my friends believe this guy. What does it say about me that I don't? And Q wet blanket winger to tell us that we're all wasting our time. Actually, no. If it's not too late, I'd love to help out in any way I can. Jeffrey, that's amazing. What does it say? It says I have gullible friends who will believe anybody, and I need to make that anybody me. Jeff, if you want this done right, I'm gonna need a study cam for Garrett. That showbiz. What the hell? Oh! <laughs> we were all pretty happy when Jeff came around. Do you think you can use your forensic know-how to do some investigating? Investigating? Obvi. Can I help? Sure, partner. Okay. In an investigation, one dude always has to go opposite the other dude. 
That's how they get things done. Jeff, thank you. When the dean told me you were going to help me, I couldn't believe it. My doctor calls it a, um, side effect. Ah, is that a memento reference? That's so funny. Do you want to get some footage while we're waiting for Kevin? Uh, maybe we could take some shots of my delicious bread baking or the affordable price. Yo, Britta's like super cute right, right there. I don't know what it is. Menu. Look at her. Here, give me that camera. Oh, okay. Be careful now. It's out there. It's camera. Where is the stop button on this? Oh, here it is. Okay. All right. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. Action. <laughs> now she stops. Cut. Oh, beautiful. You don't think the song was too much? Oh, are you kidding me? Never told anybody that story for time. Oh, it was beautiful. I was dead for three minutes. Oh. In the unlikely event I failed to expose Chang, I'm pretty confident Pierce will make sure we don't get a grant. Wait a minute. I haven't introduced you to my Asian wife yet. <laughs> you really painted this hand yellow. You motherfucker. Here, here he comes. Get up. I can't. Hear it now! No! <gasps> I'd like to ask you a couple of questions. What are you, the trout police? Because if you are, you're legally bound to tell me or else it's entrapment. Have you seen this man? I knew he was hiding something. A spike in production in June at the peak of milkweed allergy season. Something on this trout farm was starting to smell wrong. Ah, uh, not fishy. Clearly you have nothing to hide. What are you hiding? Fine! <laughs> you got me. <laughs> Shut up, Kevin! Kevin. Oh, okay. I don't understand. Why would he work for no money? Because he doesn't know about money. Kevin doesn't know about labor laws or 40-hour work weeks or that that dude named him after a dog. They were supposed to come back with a smoking gun, and all they found was a little human rights abuse, which normally is terrible. So do you believe Kevin now? No. I want all your footage. I know Chang slipped up. Yeah. You want it bad enough to rent me a crane? And maybe license an expensive song? Yeah, whatever. Oh, okay. Yeah, we're about to have some... Some big old production at the end. Come on, you slippery snake, slip up. Doubtful. When he's alone, he mostly just practices smiling and frowning. We've all done it. What? Who's he calling? Good question. We figured that out. We've got our smoking gun. And all thanks to Britta. Don't ruin this. Mm. She Britted it, but we'll crack the code. Our purpose here tonight is to help cure Kevin of his Changnesia. So please welcome to the stage the former Mrs. Ben Chang, Alessandra. Alessandra, come on up. Who? Ben, do you remember me? I don't. I'm sorry, I don't. Hit the lights. <gasps> you love her so much, you called her, even though you don't know her or how to use a phone or what a number is. We are here to help him admit that he has been faking this whole time. If we were really married, I wish I could remember for even one moment how lucky I was. Oh, Ben. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Look, if he doesn't remember her, then this wouldn't bother him. My logic is flawless. Things got so ugly, I hesitate to even show you this footage. But I will let you see me reacting to it. That'll probably be more than you can handle. I'm gonna do reactions like this from now on, okay, guys? Actually, it's not that bad. It's a story movie. <laughs> Jeffrey, I trusted you and believed in you. And fantasized this reminds me of the scene from Better Call you. Saul Dean. in season three. On behalf of the MacGuffin Neurological Institute, Grant Granted. <gasps> Damn, Jeff, you failed, bro. So, I guess I did help. Just not in the way I wanted to. By trying to make Kevin a pariah, I accidentally became more Chang than Chang at his Changiest. Can I sit here? You sure you want to be seen with me? I like you. Really? Look, I know Chang was a bad guy, but you're not a bad guy. You just made a mistake, and I'm willing to start over fresh if you are. Hi, my name's Kevin. Hmm. Hi. I'm Jeff. <laughs> Jeff Winger, producer. There's your crane shot in the theme song. What the heck, Abed? You know what Jeffrey was planning to do the whole time? Why can't you ever make a documentary about the thing you plan to make a documentary about? Abed, you gotta teach me how to use that camera. Guys, I'm sorry. I hope you can forgive me. Already forgotten. <laughs> what are we laughing about? <laughs> 
Yeah, he's playing us, right? I I'm mean, in. Y'all finally bought it. Hook, line, and winger. Of course. Kang out. <laughs> yeah, I was like, wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, so that was season four, episode six of Community, titled Advanced Documentary Filmmaking. I thought the episode was pretty okay. I mean, you know, better than okay, I should say. I mean, I'm not really sold on the whole Changnesia thing yet, to be honest. I think it's just okay. And Chang is just an okay character anyway. I never really thought he was great or anything. But if we're going to go this route, I'm going to be on board for it. Especially since we have this resurgence of a kind of friendship between Kevin and Jeff, even though at the end of the day, clearly Kevin slash Chang is playing us. He's on the phone with somebody. But outside of that, I just thought the episode was probably the most like the first three seasons. I don't know if it's just because of the whole concept of it, of the advanced documentary filmmaking aspect of it, but this episode kind of did feel like it, it. you could stick this in anywhere in the first three seasons. I don't know if that's just my opinion or not, but it felt like it was the closest to the first three seasons in terms of quality and writing. Even though I did really like the, the convention episode, there's something about this one that kind of like sticks to me. It's just Abed behind the camera. Maybe it's just that. Maybe I'm just biased towards Abed doing his documentary thing and we kind of have this big revelation at the end and we kind of, you know, have this... I don't know, we figure things out through through the lens of Ovid and his um, editing and filmmaking. I mean, it's, it's not the best documentary episode, I'll say that much. And I think because the story heavily focuses around Chang and his Changnesia, I think that's probably the biggest hindrance of it. But for what it was, I thought it was still pretty entertaining, nonetheless. And um, I don't know, it feels like now uh pierce chevy chase's character feels like he's being like more and more pushed to the background and like and, and if, it, if it weren't for you guys telling me that he's been like clashing with like some of the people behind the scenes i would have just figured like oh they just ran out of ideas for pierce you know what i mean but in terms of wrestling when you have a character that was in the forefront and then all of a sudden they're not utilized properly if for someone who's like in the know, like behind the scenes for wrestling, you'll be like, okay, that guy fucked up behind the scenes or he's in trouble and now he's being punished and his character is going to basically bear the brunt of all that punishment in front of the fans, all that good stuff. That's kind of like what I'm seeing here. It feels like Pierce is just being punished, you know, for being an asshole. So he's like doing all this racist shit and he's like a complete background character at this point. So I don't know. Well, we'll see what happens, but it, it was just, it was, a, it was a pretty okay slash good episode. I enjoyed it mostly because I liked the, the teaming of Annie and Troy, them doing the whole high five thing. And even the courtroom uh, scene kind of reminded me of that scene from Better Call Saul. It was season three when they, I don't want to get into too much into spoilers, but it was like a scene when, you know, you had Jimmy and Chuck, they they finally had their, 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 their big old uh trial um and then the scene kind of plays out similarly here i don't know what season came first what what year did this come out i'm trying to remember what year did season three of better call saul came out because that's that that scene and even like the the way it was filmed and like the whole idea behind it was actually kind of similar and I, I don't know if i'm just kind of just i just saw it and i'm just like pulling it but Good stuff, nonetheless. I, I actually really do enjoy the lawyer stuff, at, the lawyer aspect of everything, so maybe that's how I was just drawn to it and whatever, but good episode. Good. Uh, can't wait to see what happens next. I don't remember how many episodes the season has, but so far I'll only say I only disliked one episode this season, which is pretty solid considering everyone considers this to be the worst season, but I'm enjoying it nonetheless. That being said, I think I'm just going to end it there, guys. Not really much to talk about outside of what I already have, but hopefully in the next episode we'll get some more, get into the meat and potatoes of everything, get more character moments, maybe focus a little bit more on um, Britta. Because Britta's like slowly skyrocketing up the ranks for me. 
So I kind of want to see what else she has to offer in the season or in the series before we kind of wrap things up. But yeah, I think I'm just going to end it there. All right, guys. If you guys enjoyed my review, enjoyed my reaction, you guys want to see this episode with me in its entirety, there are options available to you right now over on Patreon. Links are in the description down below or pinned in the top comment. If you can't support me on Patreon, you can always support me right here on YouTube. All you got to do is drop a like, comment down below, if you want to see me react to you next. Subscribe if you haven't already. It's free. And of course, share it with your friends. Helps you, helps me, helps the channel grow. Everybody wins in the end. That being said, I'll catch you guys next time in the next episode of Community as we get one step closer to the finale and one step closer to the final two episodes of the series. Six seasons in a movie, right guys? Until then, adios. And if you liked what you saw, tell your friends, tell your family, tweet about it, and if you didn't like it, shut the fuck up. <laughs>